Hello everyone, I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Today's tutorial is part two, the sky. The paper I've used is Strathmore toned grey and the image was from my fantasy mermaid cloud. The Prisma color pencils that I've used will, uh, you can find in the beginning of the video. Welcome to the split water tutorial part two. First we use BC 938 white. We we need to decide where to put the sun. So if you divide your page into four, like I previously explained in another tutorial, to create your focus points, and you can either put it on this side of the mermaid and the rays will come through the water on that side, or I've decided to put her on my right hand side because I want the rays behind her so that we can do the glow in the hair and also the rays behind the mermaid for more effectiveness. So we start off with the white and I'm just drawing in exactly where I want the, the sun to be. Next I'll use PC914 cream and then we just fade the white to make it slightly warmer and it doesn't have to be exact you can just use this, these tutorials as a guideline and then you can also use your own colors the next one is PC1011 deco yellow to create some warmth and extend it a little bit across the wave next is PC140 it's eggshell just to blend the white and cream and deco yellows into each other I go over everything slightly and then extend to the background a little bit more white PC 938 white again just to lighten it more Next is PC1007 Salmon Pink. So orangey tones so that we can also create more warmth. Because I want to create like a sunset, late afternoon sunset, just before it goes down completely. But it's up to you, you can use brighter colors. carry on like the whole side of the wave next is Deco Peach PC1013 go slightly over your salmon and blend it into your yellows and then extend outwards towards the top part of the page you'll see I'm just blending over the yellows again to create a soft sky again this is just a guideline you can make your, your own colors and do it more it doesn't have to be so soft you can do it harder more dramatic sunset if you want
Next is Light Aqua PC992. Want to create a little bit of blue towards the top of the page. Next is muted turquoise, it's PC1088 and I'm darkening the uh, top half of the um, image of the page. Next is PC1040 Electric Blue. I want it to be um, slightly more brighter. But as I say, you can use your own colors. This is just a guide. slightly darker at the top of the page because I want to add some cirrus clouds later on but we'll get there later Next is PC1025 Periwinkle, you go even darker, you'll see I'm holding my pencil a little bit more backwards so that you can get a softer touch because we are layering quite a lot of colours, you don't want it to get saturated on the page before you've put all your colours on the page. I find that works a little bit better but again it's up to you it's just my method you can 
Use your own. Next is Salmon Pink BC1007. I know with the light it looks like a different color. The light is a bit yellow in this recording, sorry about that. See I'm actually putting some color onto the wave itself that's where the light is going to shine into the water and catches the top of the wave and then shred it into the lighter bits You can make the orange a bit as big or as small as you want. I'm just doing it to create more warmth. Next is PC938 white. We need really white there at the right or the top of the wave so that we can get the rays that's coming from the sun onto the wave get it more clearly. And here I'm pressing a little harder so it's not the soft touch. As you can see I'm holding the pencil more to the front so you can apply more pressure. Next is Deco Yellow, it's PC1011. I need to warm it up a little bit more around the white. And you'll see I keep putting it slightly on the rays because it's also 
like almost like a circular shape that you're creating with the yellow. And you can stand back or keep your page slightly away from you so that you can see the exact circular shape that it forms. Next is PC1007 Salmon Pink. I'm blending the yellow in again with the salmon. Next is PC1088 Muted Turquoise and rework some of the darker bits on the wave. Then we've lost some of the detail when I added the ray. I'm just reworking some of the shadow areas. And slightly cover the sides of the ray so it's not too prominent. You go on either side of the ray and at the bottom bits of your ray itself to soften it. Now I'm taking the salmon pink again, the BC1007. Just blend in where you've added the, the turquoise. Next is white again and rework on the wave itself your lighter bits again. Take up each is next. And add a little on the wave where the sun catches the top bits of the shapes to create some warmth on the wave itself, on the foam. Go slightly over the blue bits to shade them in. And also to blend them into the warmer colours. Next is PC1102 Blue Lake.
what I'm doing here now is just add in some blue where the darker bits in between the cirrus clouds that I'm going to add later just so that the background has more definition between the clouds See, I'm applying more pressure at the top so that it becomes like a darker color and soft at the bottom so because I want it to be lighter. Next is True Blue PC903. You might think it is a bit bright at the moment, but you'll see it will blend in completely smooth at the end for the effect we're trying to create. Next is Light Beach PC 927. I'm blending the way, the, the way I've added the blue on the edges of the blue. Just adding some warmth.
Next is Light Aqua PC992. Just to get a little bit more of a greeny tinge to the sky so that the colors blend in with the bright water at the bottom. But as I say, you can use your own colors, you don't need to stick to these. You can create your own bright sunset if you want without any blues, just using purples and yellows or oranges. It's really up to you. I want you to have fun, just use it as a guide. Next is Blue Violet Lake, BC1079. I'm uh, getting more definition onto the darker bits of the sky so that when you add the white later or the lighter colors then it will stand out more. And you can add as many or as little clouds as you like. Or maybe just leave it as is. Don't even have to add any clouds. Next, I'm going to use Light Aqua again, BC992. Just to brighten it up a bit.
Next is Decker Beach PC1013. I'm going over the aqua bits that I've just added because I want to just do brighten the up a bit and then the Decker Beach will just warm it up again so the transition is not too sudden. I'm softening and blending all the blues with the Decker Beach. I normally go any direction, not just in one. I find it covers better. But it's only my technique, you can do whatever or however you do it. I'm just softening the whole sky with the Decker Beach. Blending the colors together. Next is grey green light PC289. I'm highlighting the uh, section just where I want the clouds to be. I've decided on cirrus or cirrus clouds, the soft clouds. You can do whatever cloud you feel like doing. I didn't want to let the clouds or the sky take too much attention off the water section of this image, but it's up to you. You can do whatever sky you feel like doing or clouds that you feel like doing. This is just a guide. And I'm applying medium pressure.
and I'm angling my clouds so that it draws the attention to the mermaid. You can do them straight if you like. Next is Light Aqua PC 992. I need to just put a little bit more green into the pitch section here just above the wave because I want to add some yellow later where the sun catches the wave but we first just blend in all these little bit too bright blues so you can play with the color. I'm just softening it a bit. So that you can also get more definition from the light section of the cloud. So I'm just adding a little bit more blue over the peach. Next up, I'm going to use cream and white. BC. 914 cream and the white. This is the section on top of the wave where you want a little bit of warmth where the rays catches the top of the wave. So you need some white and some cream. Again just go over the highlighted bits of the um, foam and now use the cream just there by the yellow section and you'll see it warm it up completely Next, I'm going to use the PC289 grey green light again. And I'm just going to lighten the whole sky and blend the clouds in. But you can leave it as is if you want. But I want it to be even softer in colour. So 
so I'm just blending right over everything blend all the colors together BC 938 white now I'm just going to highlight where the clouds was before and just bring them back again by touching here and there with the white and you can carry on like this until you you very if you happy with your image Music composed and produced by Bertha Hosbrook. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope to see you soon with part 3. Uh, this was Split Water Tutorial part 2, The Sky. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications.